So after a really long day of recording, editing, and doing more interviews, I thought I'd have an early night, but no, that's not the case. The team from Wing Riders decided to launch their decks and keep me up all night. Let's get into this one. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get- hey everyone, I'm pretty excited about this particular DEX launch, mainly because they're so involved in the Cardano ecosystem. Vacuum Labs have been in the Cardano ecosystem since early 2018, where they've been building out light wallets and contributing to all different aspects of the Cardano ecosystem. And more recently, they've also been contributing a lot to Milkometer, the side chain that is developing on alongside Cardano. So I'm so excited and really happy to see that their DEX has finally launched after a whole lot of testing and a whole lot of last minute features that seem to roll out that they needed to actually bring out some of these really cool aspects of the DEX and let's go into it right now. So the announcement came out, I finally saw it on Twitter. Someone uh, DM'd me directly and said, hey, Pete, check it out. Wing Riders has launched. They uh, did it stealthily via their uh, Discord uh, channel. So I had a quick look. Lo and behold, there in Discord, I could see the, the graphic here that you can see now that's floating around on Twitter. Yes, they have launched. Now, there are a couple of really cool announcements in the couple of days leading up to it. So we knew that it was coming very close. But you could see here, this one, this one here, this, this is pretty big because we do not have stable coins on the Cardano blockchain at the moment. And they've been working with the Emil Comodo team to actually bring this out. I've just finished an interview with Sebastian about this. And we were talking about how they're bringing and bridging over these particular assets. And it's so needed in the Cardano ecosystem. So we can actually trade against stable coins as opposed to other volatile assets. So you can see here from this blog post, I'll put, I'll put a link to it if you haven't seen it yet. But you can see the basic flow of the actual assets between Milkometer, between um, the Ethereum chain and over to Cardano as well. So I'm pretty excited about having this all happen in there and you can see it all there. And I actually did a test as well, so it's all working. Now, the other aspect is around the yield farming rewards. So they have a blog post all about that as well. And I had a quick look at the yield farming uh, features within the ecosystem as well. One thing to note is that it works on the Cardano epochs. So yield farming rewards uh, can be compounded every five days. So let's have a look at the decks. The website is looking smick as it is. Now, I did do a previous video on this with the DEX integrated in the new Fire wallet. Now they've made a whole new version of this that allows you to connect it to any wallet in the Cardano ecosystem. But in particular, I'm connected in with NAMI at the moment. But let me just disconnect that and you can see the other wallet compatibility. We've got NAMI, Flint, Eternal, formerly CC Vault, uh, Jero, and of course your Ledger Nano, which is a really key aspect. Before, no other DEX, no other wallet actually could sign transactions directly with a Ledger. And now with the recent updates, if you hadn't noticed, you can now sign the transactions with this. But uh, there is a note here, you need to upgrade the firmware and smart contract support in order to actually do this on the Wing Riders DEX. I spent a good uh, 20 minutes, a half an hour yesterday trying to force that update. And I knew the Wing Riders team were waiting for that ledger support, that final update to actually launch their deck. So all these little clues were popping up and was like, oh, ooh, I have to update my ledger to do a transaction. That's a bit odd. Didn't uh, Wing Riders team need that? Yeah, there we go. So little, little clues. That was a uh, it's pretty good to know those little things. But let's have a look at the swapping mechanism on here and it looks pretty much the same as any other uh, swap that you'd expect to see. And you can see here a little bit earlier, I actually did do a swap over to USDC. So I have MAD USDC now, which is the wrapped version of it. Don't know why they call it MAD, it's uh, kind of interesting. But now I can swap that over for ADA as well. So that's a particular trading pair, the particular route that they have between those two assets. So I can actually max that out and trade it back for my ADA here. So what's the price here? Let me just have a look. So the price isn't too bad at the moment. So it's, uh, it's almost the same. <laughs> Uh, let's swap this around so I can see it. There we go. So it's a little bit lower here uh, than what's uh, trading on Binance at the moment. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. That's good. That's uh, it's a little bit good. The fact that I can do it on a DEX is uh, the real 
real big key thing. Now, there's other things to note here, the um, amount of fees that go through here. They've got the agents, uh, um, the fee there, and then the oil fee, which is the ADA that goes along with the transaction as well. So there is a, a four ADA um, a wrap up there and the 0 0.18, which is the actual network transaction fee. So little things to keep in mind. So that is quite comparable to Sunday Swap or Min Swap at the moment as well. So I won't do a DEX right now, but let's have a look at some of the other pools and some of the other things on the DEX at the moment. So you can see all the trading pairs that they have launched with, the amount of liquidity that is going through there at the moment. So they've got 15, 16, uh, 6 mil, 6 mil there. So it is slowly going up. We're, we're, I think these ones just popped up a little bit um, higher over the last few minutes from what I could see. But then if, if you have a look over here at the farming rewards, the actual yield farming rewards as well, you, get, you see these particular pairs here are the ones that you can uh, stake your liquidity for and earn an extra WRT. So that's a wing riders token for it. So if you are deciding to provide liquidity, uh, providing it in these particular pairs will earn you some more of these wing rider tokens. So simply adding liquidity in there will get you that particular reward. Now I do have uh, a little bit of ADA and that mad USD. So I'm going to try and give this a go. So let's go to the uh, um, pool here. And which one was it? This one here, the ADA and the mad USDC. So let's go add liquidity. And I'll max this one here. And that's the equivalent pair. And let's go add liquidity. Now it is costing me a little bit here in terms of the fees, but I'm just going to confirm that. Doing this for you guys so you know how to do it. So you can't see it, but let me just sign that transaction. And away it goes. Great. So I've added liquidity. Well, that request has been submitted. So it's been um, submitted to the blockchain and that will be processed in a few minutes. So let me just click done and that should appear very, very soon. But let's have a look at some of these other features in here. Oh, I like this. This little spinning transaction here. Aha. Uh -huh. That's actually a really nice way of highlighting what, um, what transactions are pending on the DEX for me and I'm just waiting for this uh, this one to actually confirm. So it shouldn't take too long that one. So I'll just let that one run there. But if we have a look at some of these other features here that now the Wing Riders team are actually doing something quite interesting. So when you have your ADA in one of their liquidity pools, you can actually stake your ADA that is in there. So it means that you're earning rewards from your yield farming that you're doing for providing liquidity into one of those pools but also your ADA is earning rewards at the same time by being delegated to a stake pool. That's essentially double dipping and earning rewards on two parts. So you're earning those wing rider tokens as well as your ADA rewards, which at the moment on any of the other DEXs you don't earn. So when you provide liquidity to MinSwap or Sunday Swap, or even have orders open on Muesli Swap, that ADA is left hanging there, or uh, the DEXs are actually using it and providing it and staking it to their own state pools and they collect the rewards there. And, and that's co actually common practice. So a lot of staking staking protocols actually uh, take advantage of that. So all the DEXs or the bridges even, so such as Milcometer, they'll be holding on to the ADA in the smart contracts and staking that and earning the rewards for it. It's how they pay for the network fees and uh, all those uh, little bits and pieces. So it's part of the ecosystem and it's very common practice. But here we can actually stake it and earn it for ourselves. So that is super cool. And when this transaction goes through, I will give that a go and see how that actually all works. So that's still pending there. So we'll just go come back to it in a moment. Okay, so my my transaction is still going through at the moment. I have a feeling uh, with the launch of this, the, uh, the blockchain, okay, okay, so. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, I have a feeling that my um, the, the blockchain load is a little bit high at the moment, but it looks like the transaction was confirmed and it's on the blockchain now. So um, it can't be that congested. So let us let me just uh, refresh this screen here and check out the pending transaction and it's just, just make sure that's gone through. Okay, okay, I see. So it actually has been submitted. So that my transaction has been submitted and now it's been backed batching by one of their agents and one of their agents will um, go through that process. So I, I'll just wait for that uh, batching process to happen. I don't know how long that will take, 
uh, but I can still see that pending there. But at least that means, let me just check my NAMI wallet. It means that transaction has been submitted to the blockchain and has been uh, verified. Yes, that has been confirmed. So it's just passed through. So let's have a look at some of these other really cool things that they actually had on have on their decks as well or linking from it. And, and this one here I thought was pretty cool. And I didn't see this before in my testing and it's an NFT marketplace. Who would have thought? These guys don't rest. They're, they're, they're constantly building different things. I, I guess it helps when they have so much experience in, uh, in the Cardano ecosystem in general, but you know... <laughs> What what would they do on the, on the spare lunch break? Just code up a uh, NFT marketplace. You know they probably did, but let's have a look at some of the projects here. And it looks like uh, some some pretty cool things. I actually haven't seen a lot of these ones here, like Ada Idiots or Lunars here. But let's just pick up Ada Idiots. There we go. So um, I might as well just buy this one here. I I have no affiliation with this project. I've never heard of it before. It just Seems pretty cool to me. It's here in the marketplace. So I'll just sign this transaction. And is that it? Is that, it can't be that fast. Let me just check my wallet. No, it can't be that fast. I'm still waiting for, so that transaction has been submitted and I'm still waiting for, so if, if I load up Cardano scan, yeah, okay, that transaction is still um, waiting to go. But you know, that that was just a really nice user experience. And um, I, you know, I, I might get used to this jam on bread thing. Who knows? <laughs> So let's have a look back here and see what's happening on the DEX itself. Let's uh, refresh this pending transaction. All right, so it looked like that uh, transaction has gone through and I now have liquidity. So that means I can do a couple of more really interesting things here. So now if I go to portfolio, there it is. What's this? This pool has a farm. Cool, I can start farming. And I can also start staking it as well. Now, one of the really cool features, um, I got this from, I think it was the video with uh, Paul from uh, Cardano with Paul. And they said that uh, with the governance side of things, you can actually use your, your tokens, your wing riders tokens to vote on which pools you think should uh, be a part of this, uh, this staking process. So it's not just staking to any pool within the Cardano ecosystem. You actually have to vote and have that particular pool uh, put into their um, staking pool list here. So at the moment, it's just the new five pools here, which is totally fine. It's uh, it's what funded all of this development. So staking your uh, ADA to one of these pools actually has helped launch this DEX. It's funded the development of it. So it's kind of key and rather important. But let's go ahead and let's farm this. Um, I think it may take a little while. Um, but here we can see that now at the my add liquidity button, which was here before, is now turned to manage. So now I can manage this and go zoom all the liquidity I have, which isn't much. 100% um, deposit these LP tokens, confirm that, sign the transaction again. Spending a lot of ADA tonight on these little transactions just to get a demo video in. And there we go. Okay, so transaction submitted. So let's go transaction list. And that is just confirming at the moment. So again, that will just need to confirm on the blockchain itself. And then once that's done, then we have another uh, step that we can go through or another step that has been done. And then I'm going to see if I can actually start staking this as well. Uh, or is this automatically staked already? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, it, it automatically stakes it straight away. Okay, so that's essentially done. So I think that's everything that you can actually do on the decks at the moment. So you can do a swap. The swaps are pretty straightforward. It works exactly the same way as how um, other other decks do it at the moment. So it's it's pretty pretty straightforward. You can swap either way as well. Yep, that's really quick, really easy. Now I do love this little warning message down here that they added into the interface as well. You still have one unconfirmed transaction, which means that transaction is still being submitted to the blockchain. And sometimes you get caught out by this on, on other uh, um, CNFT marketplaces or wherever. You are participating in DeFi on one app and, just, and you're using NAMI wallet and just submitting that transaction there. And then you decide to jump over to an NFT marketplace and buy an NFT there, but you still have that transaction submitting, so it won't actually work. So this little uh, warning message down here saying that you still have a transaction uh, being submitted will let you know that nothing else will work at the moment. You can only do one action at a time. So we've just got to wait for that one to go through before uh, we can actually do anything else. 
So that's pretty cool. And um, we've had a look at all the pools here that they have at the moment, which is great. So a lot of the, uh, the main meme coins and a lot of the popular tokens are all here, which is fantastic. We had a look at the portfolio. So once you've added liquidity, you can actually see and manage your portfolio in here. And then um, I, oh, I love this here. I just noticed it. Unrealized permanent loss. So that, that means they have some sort of calculator here. So you know what the potential of the impermanent loss is. So that is an absolutely awesome feature so that you know in regards to your portfolio, uh, what your potential impermanent loss is. And if you take these out, uh, what your realized um, uh, loss is for that particular liquidity pool. And that is an amazing feature. Um, this 24 hour, um, uh, I guess, the uh, value of your liquidity pool as well is pretty cool. And a couple of details of um, your percentage owned and how much came through in and out. So that's that's really cool features in the portfolio pool. Absolutely love that. And I did see my transaction come through as well. So my farming is now in there and I can see uh, my liquidity, how much liquidity I have in there. And I guess uh, we'll see soon how much um, you would actually be earning from that. So that's really cool. I, I really like what the guys have done. Uh, the potential here is huge. And of course, the NFT marketplace as well. And the staking where I can actually earn my extra ADA rewards from all this too is just absolutely fantastic. Um, I have to say, well done, Ring Riders team, uh, for everything that you guys have done, especially for the Kadana ecosystem in general, the min swap exploit that you guys found. Thank you very much. You saved a lot of uh, uh, a lot of value there for the Kadana ecosystem. We've noticed that the TVL go up as well, and we see that the Wing Riders Dex is included on DeFi Llama as well, and that's just going up and up and up. So congratulations on another DEX launching on the Kadana blockchain. I'm really excited to see this and be a part of the DeFi evolution and seeing DeFi evolve on the Kadana blockchain as well. That's it for me for this video. If you really enjoyed my content, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe and click on the notification bell. I'll be doing full video tutorial of this when I get some sleep and we'll be able to go through and understand how to better play around with the DEX as well. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast Gotta get it hype, crypto is what we like But this is not investment or financial advice Gotta do your research, cause it's risky, we know it is This show is educational and it's informative Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate